Hi, everybody. This is Father Ron. This is our weekly Fridays with Father Ron, and I'm really excited to to be here with all of you. Um, I had the opportunity to go on vacation this past week and spend some time in Florida with my um, parents. So my my father was asking me uh, when the Christmas trees are coming down in the church, and I told him they're not Christmas trees, but ordinary time trees. And as you know, uh, this Wednesday coming up, is Ash Wednesday. So this will be the last weekend that we have, um, you know, the green and the white in our uh, beautiful church. What I try to do is to create in the time of Lent a kind of um, barrenness and simplicity um, to our liturgical space. We are certainly encouraged not to have any live plants in the church. And um, so all of those things will be either taken to the gathering area or the social hall um, for the time of Lent. So in order to really create that kind of barrenness that is part of this openness we are to have of prayer, fasting, and giving alms for the time of Lent, um, I choose to leave some of the decorations up for for the whole time of winter. So uh, this would be the last weekend for um, our beautiful environment in our church. Um, A few days ago, our Lenten newsletter was uh, mailed to you. So... um, because we mail it third-class mail, which is very affordable for us, um, the post office and the people who deliver the mail have up to 14 days to uh, deliver it once it gets um, through the mail system as third-class mail. So keep an eye out for this. We have dedicated the newsletter um, to the year of St. Joseph and also um, some information about Lent, including some spiritual opportunities as well as our Lenten almsgiving. So Um, I can mention more of that in future Fridays with Father Ron, but just be a lookout um, for our beautiful newsletter. Also, for our spiritual reading for the time of Lent, we've ordered for everyone um, the small book called Lenten Meditations by William Berry. In the coursework that I'm doing at John Carroll University um, for the Ignatian Spirituality Institute, this two-year certificate program that I'm um, engaging in, um, I found William Berry to be one of my uh, favorite spiritual authors who is a Jesuit. So the nice thing about this particular Lenten book is it just starts with Ash Wednesday and concludes with Easter. There's no dates in it, and it just gives a very um, small... um, scripture reading and um, a little reflection each day and it's uh, subtitled Growing in Friendship with God. I used this book last year for my own uh, Lenten experience and I really enjoyed it so I thought I would provide it um, to you this year. Also coming up um, because it's Ash Wednesday and we know um, that again many people are not able to come to church um, if they have not been vaccinated yet or they have particular health issues So for those of you that come through our communion tent, um, perhaps even some families who um, have children that aren't in our school, if you'd like to come this weekend, uh, you're welcome to pick up this little bag. It has a little container of ashes in it and a little home prayer service. So when you wake up on Ash Wednesday morning, um, after you get ready for work or school, depending on where that might be, Uh, then you can mark yourself um, with ashes on Ash Wednesday. So those will be available this weekend in the communion tent after the 4.30, the 8.30, and the 11 a.m. Mass on Sunday, and also available on Ash Wednesday. The two Masses that we have here on Ash Wednesday, the um, 8 a.m., which is our normal Mass time during the week, and the 4.30 p.m., there will be um, distribution of ashes in the middle of the service, as well as communion afterwards. And you can drive up. Both of those will be live streamed and you can drive up after those celebrations to receive communion and ashes in our communion tent. Also, um, the first Sunday of Lent is our annual Catholic Charities Appeal. This year, the theme is Love Your Neighbor. This is a, a beautiful opportunity for us to commit to the local poor in our diocese. Um, We won't be mentioning much about it this weekend, but next weekend there is a little inspirational video by our bishop, and then we'll have an opportunity to make a commitment to the annual Catholic Charities Appeal. So I invite you to um, start considering that. 
um, praying over what you're able to donate this year. Our parish is very generous uh, to those in need. And one of the beautiful things about where we are in the Diocese of Cleveland, right here in Avon Lake, is that we help um, a lot of people who are in need right in our own county in the city of Lorraine and Elyria. So um, our needs, I mean, our donations um, for those in need um, stay very close by. And then we can support them with all the meals that we provide. And some of our Lenten alms giving this year will be hats and scarves and gloves uh, to help people um, keep warm in these cold winter days. So those are the things that uh, we have coming up. Also, as you know, with the start of Lent is our Lenten fish fries. So we're going to uh, show you a little video about um, how to order, where the menu is online, um, all of the things that you need to know to um, get your beautiful and delicious uh, fish during our Lenten tradition of our Lenten fish fries. So uh, we did produce this video, and uh, we will show it to you now. Hello, St. Joseph Parish friends and family and special and honored guests from all around wherever you're coming from. This is a little tutorial for our Fish Fry 2021 on we're going to cover where to find the info on our website for the Fish Fry, uh, where to find the volunteer sign up link, and also how to order most importantly. Um, so as we've been mentioning, fish fries are going to be to go only and we'll be working like our Sunday suppers to go. You'll be ordering ahead of time. We will have, uh, we will be able to take drive up orders, but we are really encouraging everyone to order online ahead of time as much as possible. So to figure out how to do that, uh, you can come to our homepage here at stjosephavonlake.org. You'll see the banners that are flashing through and you just saw that one of them that flashes through is the Lenten Parish Fish Fry. Once you click on that, that will take you to the 2021 Fish Fry um, webpage. And this will have all the information. It will have the order link as well as the volunteer link and those sorts of things. So that's the first way to get to it is just through this banner ad up here. The other way is to just scroll down a little more and click on events. You want to click on the word and then you scroll down a little more and again you'll see our fish fry image and that'll again get you the same exact place. So you'll see our menu here with our four different uh, main meal options that each come with two sides. Um, and then you all the other sides are a la carte for $2 except for $1 applesauce and then you can get um, soup, the homemade New England clam chowder for $6. Here you'll see a little guide on how to order and how you're going to pick up and how that's all going to work. Uh, there's the order link, which we'll go to in a second. Our drive through map, how this is going to work is that when your time comes up, when you, you're going to order between 4 and 7 p.m., you're going to enter in off of Lake Road. You're going to drive around the side here all the way back towards electric. And then here you're going to have a little split. There'll be signs directing you uh, to go here if you uh, need to order still um, or over this direction if you have already ordered online. And then they'll be checking you in and sending you to a parking spot in this area, number parking spot that then your order will get run out to you. And that's so we can keep the line moving here um, and keep everyone then moving out once you receive your order. Um, we're gonna have everyone, the goal is to pull through your spot so that no one is backing out, um, pull through your spot and then head out um, by Electric Boulevard. Um, here is our volunteer link that I just took you to. Um, that you click towards the bottom of the page. Um, right now we have Friday the 19th open. There are slots still available, so we encourage you to check out some of the traffic positions we have, running out orders, taking some orders, um, and such. So check that out. The following Fridays will be um, coming on there um, shortly. Again, that is down here, Fish Fry Volunteers. Click here to volunteer. Let's go back up to our click here to order. So this is where it will take you to our web page for ordering. If you've done Sunday suppers to go, it's the exact same thing. And wait for it to load here. Uh, if you have um, not been to this page yet, it will pop up automatically with a to select your time to pick up. Um, Friday the, the 19th should be the only one available. Then you can pick up select time anytime between 4 and 7 p.m. that you want to pick up. If a time is missing, that means that we've hit the limit of orders that we can take for that time. So just pick another time. You can hit update. If you need to change your time or it doesn't have a pop-up window, you can always just hit the um, little edit pencil icon here. Click here and then you can change it to any other time you want. 
And then all you do is you will add items to your bag, just like you would uh, ordering anything else online. Let's get some cabbage and noodles. And uh, then you see your bag getting filled over here and then you'll check out and then you'll enter in your information, credit card here. Uh, you can you can create an account for future if you'd like, um, not necessary. And then you would just hit submit and then you will get a confirmation email uh, at the email address that you uh, select up there. This is doing it on your computer. You can also do it on your uh, phone. Um, it will look very similar, but I will show that here. Also getting to the order on your phone will look very similar going from the St. Joseph Avon Lake website. So I won't show that on your phone, but I will show the toast. As you click on the order, again, you'll be able to schedule your order. Find your meal, add to cart. Set some pierogi, add that to cart. And then you can view your cart down here. You'll see it there and then check out. And again, you will just enter your information as such. So again, your big thing is um, find the Fish Fry 2021 homepage and that will have all your, all your information and you'll be able to order, volunteer, and find other info. If you have any issues ordering or you cannot order um, via the website for whatever reason, um, please feel free to call into the office and we can submit your order uh, for you. If you have any other questions, feel free to um, email us or call the parish office. Uh, my email is phil at stjosephavonlake.org or you can call the parish office at 440-933-3152. Thanks so much and God bless you and hope to see you soon. So as we conclude this uh, Friday with Father Ron, I just want you to know how much um, I love being your pastor. Even though it's uh, great to be away on a little vacation, um, I also miss all of you very much. I'm glad to be back, um, even though it's cold, um, to be with you again. And uh, this weekend coming up is Valentine's weekend, so we're going to have our um, final time before Easter of um, hospitality with donuts. So you can uh, pick up a donut and pick up ashes this weekend um, all at the same time. So we're uh, very grateful that we can uh, provide this hospitality. And remember in the gathering area, you can also pick up this little Lenten book. So part of the year of St. Joseph in here is this little prayer that the Holy Father um, wrote for the year of St. Joseph. And I'd like to uh, conclude with that. Hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only son, and you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us to show yourself a father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. Have a great weekend and a beautiful day today, and just know how much I love being your pastor. God bless.